Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. So, yesterday, i done a couple of videos regarding the whole Ron Toy situation regarding of what he was like towards his ex-wives. And a few things have come out since then. Obviously, you've had Amanda Wynn Lee. She's come on, look, oh, well, Vic's still fired. It's not going to help him. Well, no, it's not going to help him, but... You're all preaching that, you know, all of you are too, you know, goody two-shoes and all of this. And then it comes out, first of all, that Chris Sabat calls people to insult him. He calls him autistic. You had Ron Toy, who uh, is an abuser. You know, he's a, he beat his ex-wives up and everything else. Threatened to cut their dogs up. He's like, what is wrong with you? And today... Over the last 12 to 13 hours, a lot of things have come out about Sean Schemmel. And again, it shows that Sean Schemmel, by the looks of things, is homophobic. So, a lot of things have, you know, this week, it's just been a roller coaster ride, hasn't it, really? You know, a lot of people who are thinking, like, oh, you know, oh, these people, you know, they're going against Vic, as Vic's done this, Vic's done that. Again, it's all hearsay. And people will believe it just because again these people you know, like well believe the victims you know but you know destroy career first then ask questions but then when you actually dig into things and you start finding little tidbits which is what we did you know we found out obviously lynn he was a very very strong advocate against vic and you know obviously it came out then a video of her forcing herself onto two 15 year old girls and which is actually video evidence of that. Then there's a few other things here and there. And then obviously the big one came out was that Ron Toy, the one who's saying that Vic has done everything under the sun towards women, we find out is that he's actually a manipulative and a physically and mentally abusive spouse. You know, he used to beat up his ex-wives, he used to man he manipulate them, mentally torture them, everything, you know? And... We've seen things, you know, we've even seen the affidavit, and we've even got the voice recordings, is that if you hang up on Ron Toy, he's going to do something, you know, all five foot nine of him, he's going to do something really bad to you, he's going to threaten you, he's going to, and you know, this is the guy who threatened a judge and his kids, so it just goes to show what type of person he is, and... But then again, Monica come out and she's like, oh no, no, he went to counselling, he's over it. Nah, mate. Nah, fam. That's not how it works. You know? And he even said it to his first, you know, sorry, his second wife. He was, oh, I've done counselling, you know, I'm not like that person anymore. But then all of a sudden, he's beating her up too. So it's like, oh, here we go, this is going to be fun, isn't it? But, uh, but what we have here is actually quite interesting because uh, you had a lot of people saying that the abuser wasn't Ron, it was his ex-wives, and obviously they are going to say that because they are literally now, they're probably pooping in their pants and they're going, right, okay, um, we protecting some one of the biggest people who was going against Vic, you know, the one who tweeted the most about him and everything else, he is worse than Vic, he's, you know, he's everything that he says he is to Vic, and... It's very interesting because over all of this, you know, we had people that we were saying about Lynn Montella, she was projecting, you know, she was calling Vic all names, you know, I'm not going to say him, but, you know, and then it turns out that she was actually projecting all of that onto someone else. But so then obviously Ron's come out and we found that Ron is now like it as well. So he was projecting, you know, Chris Sabat, Sean Schemmel, who's going to be next? That's going to be an interesting one. But what we have here, so for today's uh, topic of the video, we have the actual filing of the protective order. Data entry form for Texas Crime Information Center. And as you can see, it does go on and, you know, everything else. But it got name a respondent. Ronald J. Toy III. You know, he was born in Germany. Ooh, so he's a German then. So everything they call us, does that mean we can call him that because he's German? No, it doesn't, because it doesn't work like that, you know, and um, his date of birth, you know, 3rd of the 1st, 83, and then it goes on as well, his height, he's 5'9", and he weighs 190 pounds, this was actually at the time, 
You know, his hair colour was black, your know, eye colour was brown. You know, he's a tattoo left arm number four. Relationship to protected person, ex-husband. So, when you see all of this, obviously the uh, person's name and address has been uh, scrubbed out. Which is right, so this is 2007 and this was going to go and... It's really interesting, obviously, that's this, you know, sorry, 2007 was the year, the Mustang they had and everything else. But when you see this, and you see people who are going on about all these things, and when you see that, and everything that's brought, being brought to light this week, and <laughs> it's only Thursday, like, you know, which is absolutely crazy. So, Thursday, and, you know, four days in, and we've had so much stuff come out about these guys, it's absolutely crazy. It'll be interesting to see how all this pans out now, because you do have people saying, oh, none of this is going to be brought up, who cares? Well, actually, people will care, because in this case, and if it does go to trial, and obviously now Ron's dirty laundry is out there, you know, and if that is placed out there by Ty, which, again, if I was the defence lawyer, and we had the jury there and everything else, I'd be like, right, okay, you know, uh, this gentleman here, Ron Toy, I say I will just let you, you know, give you a brief history of the person. He has got criminal. Well, he has got a protective order against him from his ex-wife because he was abusive to him. He beat him. He was mentally torturing him, and you know that's not going to go well because the jury will be like, oh my god, they could be thinking, we are. Why is he doing this? You know, but then again, Monica come out and she's like, oh no, he treats me like a queen. Again, we don't know any of this anymore, you know? And I have seen a few people on Twitter like, oh, you're all, you know, oh, you're all against Monica, now you're standing for her. No, we're not standing for her. It's, we just don't like seeing people being abused. And this is what's happening now, you know? Again, we don't know if Ron's telling her to do all of this, you know? And just to throw something in perspective, which, you know, Nick, he, he did say it a while ago, that Ron turned up to Monica's deposition in a wife beater. He sat there in a wife beater vest. And, you know, I'd be thinking there, I would, if, first of all, if I was my area, I'd be like, you're not coming in because you're not dressed to come in, you know? And that's what, you know, but they're like, oh no, we you know, he's just stood in a wife beater, man. All he needed was a can of beer in his hand, and that would be well away, you know? But I'm going to end the video there. I will have more coming out today. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe to the channel. Your support means everything to me, and I'll see all you lovely people soon.